In this video I'll show you how to speed up your low-end budget Android Chinese tablet uh, without rooting, uh, that is without hacking the device. Um, some people would like to just keep their device in uh, stock form or they just don't know how to, root, how to root the device. Most Chinese tablets, especially the Intel ones like this one that run Intel processors, they're very hard to root. Uh, so in this video I'll show you how to speed up the device without rooting and uh, I'll be using three methods. Two are software methods using apps and uh, one is an external hardware method. So let's get into it. The first uh, thing I'm going to talk about is installing a new launcher and the best launcher for any Chinese Android tablet or low-end Chinese low-end Android tablet I'd say is Nova Launcher. So you can get Nova Launcher from the App Store. Um, it looks like this. That's what it looks like, Nova Launcher. It's available, it's free on the App Store. You get it and you install it. How you're gonna do that is after installing it just go into settings. You'll see, you know, this settings page will vary obviously from tablet to tablet but you go to home you get launcher so now your original launcher will be there as well so once you've downloaded it all the other launchers will appear here but I recommend Nova launcher as it I've been using it for a long time it doesn't slow your device down anything it actually speeds it up so then select Nova launcher and go back to your home page and it will boot into Nova launcher uh, then the new home screen would be uh, uh, set up with Nova Launcher. So as you can see it's much different now. You can go into Nova Launcher and edit the settings you want. Uh, there are many settings, look and feel, folders, doc, apps and widget drawers. You can edit these and customize it the way you want. Uh, it has a, This is the free version so if you want to pay there is a paid version as well that increases the uh, options but the free version is just perfect for me. So the first way like the first way to speed up your device is installing Nova Launcher. This will work for any Chinese or low end uh, device. It it's really fast as you can see, no stutter, no lag at all. Uh, and it gives you a lot of customizing capability. You can change all your icons and all that good stuff that you can do with a launcher. The next way to speed up your low end Chinese Android device or tablet is to install a cleanup uh, software. Now why do I say this cleanup software? Well a lot of higher end Android devices also have junk files, these things called junk files. Uh, they're they're hidden, hidden files that you can't see. They're usually app caches and just app data or even system data that is really not necessary. It's like temporary files on your Windows computer. Uh, that's the same with Android. It's the temporary files of Android. So these file only higher end devices will let you erase these manually but there are lower end devices don't have that option but then you have to install an app to erase them so an app I'd recommend is Avast Cleanup let me show you that in close that's the app Avast Cleanup you can go download it from the App Store uh, I'm sorry the, the Google Play Store and uh, it's 100% free I, all, all Avast software is free on the Google Play Store so you click it So it will check your memory uh, to see if there's any unwanted files. Don't worry, it does not erase uh, important information. It's, uh, it, it's a very high rated app. Uh, a lot of users say it's good. I've been using it for about two years now or oh, more than that. I cannot remember but uh, it's a great app. So now it's analyzing my storage. So I've got 27.4 MB of junk files but last week I had 270 MB of junk files so that will seriously slow down your device if you have a lot of junk files so what this app does is just erase all this so next do is safe clean it will clean up all those and you're done uh, so it got rid of all the junk files the unnecessary files that are on your device if you run this app uh, once every three days uh, you can just uh, make sure you're getting rid of all the junk files uh, there is a widget also you can just click that drag and drop the widget 
it's called safe clean you don't have to go to the app itself it has an, uh, many other options you can check those out as well but yeah that's the second way on how to speed up your low end android device the third and final method for speeding up your low end android tablet or device is using a memory card so this is the external hardware method i mentioned using a memory card uh, now why would you want to use a memory card these uh, devices come with uh, you know, for example 8 to 16 or 32 GB of storage but as we all know you don't get that entire amount of storage uh, the system files take up space and at some point you're going to run out of space but that's a different story why can't you put your let's say you bought a 32 GB one why can't you put a lot of data all your photos videos all uh, apps everything onto the system storage why isn't it a good idea to do that well if you own a windows computer you know that if you put uh, a lot of your apps and uh, videos whatever files onto local disk c the div the, the computer is going to slow down after some time if, uh, you may have noticed that it's the same with android uh, if you load software movies whatever onto the same uh, storage that the operating system runs from the device is gonna slow down over time or maybe instantly just as you fill it up uh, so the device is gonna slow slow down and what I recommend is using a memory card and storing all your photos videos all that stuff on the memory card now I'll address that you can't load all the applications mostly uh, apps that use Wi-Fi 3G based apps they won't allow you to install them on a memory card on an external memory card but games and stuff certain games without rooting you can still install them on a uh, memory card uh, even what apps like viber whatsapp uh, facebook and all they allow you to store some data on that memory card you can go into settings and uh, move to sd card there is an option saying move to X sd card so what i'd recommend is using a memory card storing all your data on that so that the device doesn't slow down and that your uh, system memory has uh, enough space to uh, carry out its functionality and it won't be uh, obstructed by these files that you store on it so yeah use a memory card store all your heavy files all that on a memory card and that will keep your device as fast as possible so that's it for this video uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and tell me in the comment section if you have any more methods that don't require routing to speed up uh, any Android tablet for, for even the higher end ones that's fine tell me in the comment section if you know any other method for doing this uh, so yeah like always thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video